I'm Nolan Galvin with Rayco Rents, and today we're going to show you how to set up a 3M Sound Pro. So once you get your Sound Pro, and take it out of the case, the microphone should be detached. So what you want to do is gently just put it on there and then turn it until you feel it push in. Well, right in there, the pin's lined up. Then we turn this just to get it secure. Now you've got your microphone attached. So you'll press the power button down here, just hold it for a second. The splash screen will pop on and you'll get your main menu. So what we want to do before we, we use the Sound Pro is calibrate it. Um, you've got your calibrator included here. You should have the adapter on there. It fits nicely onto the microphone. So what we'll do is we'll go to Cal. That's right here on the bottom of the screen. Um, we'll get the calibrator turned on using the power button here and attach it. You can actually hear it make the noise, so you want to wait for that, and then we'll hit calibrate. So now what we do is using the soft keys here, right under the arrows, we'll adjust. Luckily this one went right to 114, that's the, uh, that's the number you want to get. And um, make sure it's there. we'll hit enter, and there you go. Just to verify that it calibrated, it'll show you um, the value that you got along with the date and time. Um, so that's today's date, that's the value we want, so we're going to go there. So after you've calibrated the Sound Pro, you're ready to, to do the meter setup. So we'll go to the setup screen here. Um, first thing is you've got options for meter one and meter two here. Um, this actually allows you to have one meter each with its own settings and it will record two studies simultaneously. Uh, so you'll get some different data there. Um, so starting here, we've got the threshold. That's the sound level at which a meter begins to combine noise into a measured exposure. Uh, next, you've got your exchange rate. That's used to change how the instrument calculates the time-weighted average. Next is the criterion level. That's used to determine an average exposure level over a set period of time. Uh, next, we'll have the upper limit. That calculates the total amount of time the instrument measured sound levels above the set limit and the projected time, time interval used in some calculations that may be different from the actual study time. Um, so that's what you've got here on the setup screen. Those can be changed using uh, the arrow keys here. Or not. <laughs> there we go. Um, so you can just adjust that. And like we said, if you want to swap between meter one and two there, um, that's this key. You've also got um, your weighting right here. That's A, C, Z, and F. A being used to do general sound level surveys. C has a flatter weighting curve than A, which allows for more accurate low frequency sound level detection. Um, Z is a flatter frequency response than C, which allows for readings to be close to the actual decibel level than relative to the human ear. And F is non-weighted. Uh, it's similar to Z, but has an extended detectable frequency range. Um, and then right here, you've got uh, your response time. So that'd be fast, slow, and impulse. Fast is the response time to use when measuring sound that varies quickly. Slow is going to be the response time used to dampen the measurement and get a general decibel level without getting spikes in your measurement. And I is going to be impulse response used for measuring quick bursts of sounds like a gunshot or an explosion. So there's your setup there. Um, you got the auto run feature here. Uh, we'll go into that in another video. There's a lot of different uh, settings for that particular um, feature. Here you've got time and date. Pretty simple. Set the date and time. This one's actually correct right now. And that's it. So one more important tip to throw in here. Um, when you're in a session, uh, this is your run and pause button. So you press that to enter run mode. You'll see the play sign right there. That is to signify that you're in run mode. Uh, and then when you're done testing and you're ready to stop, you need to hit pause first, then hold down stop. And as you see, it'll say save and clear, does a countdown, and you're good. And that's it. If you have any questions regarding this instrument or anything else that we carry, please contact Rayco Rents either by phone or email.